Mike, everyone. I hope you're all fantastic. I've got the Roland DEP5 on the bench today, and we're going to do five killer tones with the DEP5. Uh, let's not muck around. Let's just get straight into this with number one. To get started, let's start on mode one, which is the chorus. This DEP5 chorus actually has feedback, and we can use the parametric EQ to EQ our chorus, which is pretty interesting. Before we get started, I'm using an absolutely filthy sound from my Axe FX3, going straight into the DEP5, coming out in stereo back to my interface and into Pro Tools. So I've got the mix all the way down. This is just the direct sound. Then I'm going to blend in a bit of this chorus. I've got the rate at 0.5 hertz and the depth at 10 milliseconds. <laughs> That's crazy. It is definitely embiggening the guitar sound. What I can do is maybe add a little bit of feedback. I know Zach Wilde used the SPX90 Symphonic on No More Tears, uh, but he did use a DEP5 in his live rack. I assume he used a DEP5 for like reverb or something, but adding a bit of feedback to this chorus mode kind of does a similar thing. It's pretty exhilarating. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's good. Let's hit the EQ button. I'm going to make the chorus a little bit brighter and I'll pull out some low end from it as well. I think this is even better. <laughs> So that's the chorus or the choral flange, as I like to call it, mode number one. For the next mode, we're going to go to mode number 10, which is chorus plus delay in parallel. But I'm really going to focus on the delay. Even though this is mode 10, chorus and delay in parallel, I've defeated the chorus by turning all its controls down. And we can select between three different delay modes. One and two are just mono delays. They're uh, going to change the phase depending on which one you select. So two is out of phase with one. But mode three is going to be a ping pong delay. You can set the core delay time with the pre-delay button, feedback on reverb time, and you've got high frequency damping. You can also EQ the delay as you can with any of the other modes. There's a really, really fun ping pong delay. <laughs> Ping pong delay, it's the good stuff. If I wanted to, of course, I could introduce some chorus. So I could go, oh, let's say 0 0.5 hertz, just a little bit of chorus on there. Let's check this out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
That's like everything you need for 80s lead guitar right there. I guess the advantage of using this particular mode is that, yeah, you can get those left and right channel delays. You know, if you were using an SDE 3000, it's a mono delay. You needed two of them in your rack rig. You could replace that with a single DEP5. So uh, for that alone, that's keeping me pretty happy on mode number 10. I will admit it's probably the mode I've been playing the most with this because these kind of sounds are what I spend most of my time playing around with. For this example, I want to show off the modulated reverb, which I think is probably the killer app in the DEP5. It's something the SRV2000 lacks. And the fact that you've actually got external access to the EQ controls on dedicated knobs is another advantage over the SRV2000 in terms of usability. So I've got plate number two dialed up, about two seconds of reverb, a little bit of pre-delay, the EQ on there is flat. I'll show you this and then we'll switch over to mode number three, which is the modulated version of that same reverb. <laughs> You can hear there that it's just kind of nice and sparkly and shimmery and modulation on reverb is magic. I really like this with special mode number two. Special mode number two has these kind of filtered trails and when you add in modulation on there, well, you get this. <laughs> So we just checked out modulated reverb, mode four, mode five, and mode six give you chorus on reverb or chorus with reverb in parallel or chorus then reverb. But mode number four is my favorite one because it's reverb running into chorus. So I'm gonna set the rate to about 0.7 Hertz. I'll bring the depth down to about 10 milliseconds. And I've selected, let's choose the biggest hall reverb in here. And I'm gonna add a bunch of pre-delay on here. And let's go for like a longer, kind of reverb on here. Let's go for maybe five seconds on there. This just sounds ridiculously lush. And this is one of my favorite things to do with reverb units in general is run reverb into modulation. I love that it's built in to the DEP5. <laughs>
That's amazing. So, so lush. If I went for a shorter reverb time and I added some distortion, still with the chorus on there, uh, this again is just kind of magical. I really love the way this sounds. To round things out, I'm on mode 11, which the manual states is a low density, non-linear reverb. You've got three modes on there. I selected mode two, which is gonna pan between my speakers. But the way I've got this set up, kind of just reminds me of like the Eventide Ultra Tap or the Fractal Mega Tap Delay, where you have the sound just basically gets smeared out between your speakers. I'll just let you listen to it. like that you can kind of groove against it and it still has that uh, rhythmic property about it but it is all nice and smeary and stereo and uh, yeah it's just a really unique mode it's a character tone that's why I like chasing up all this old gear I'm searching for the character tones that you might not hear every day out of your kind of stock run-of-the-mill pedals and this mode 11 is definitely the weirdest mode on here it's one of the most enjoyable and I could hear that mode being used on synths and on percussion as well if you were using it in a mixing setting so yeah I hope you enjoyed this brief little tour of the Roland DEP5 I'm going to put this in my big refrigerator rack and when I finally do a video with that you're going to hear some of these sounds again but until then I'll just play you all out on uh, mode 11 thanks for watching mm -hmm.